welcome to the No Model at Mason Ridge. Hi, Ben. I'm Randy Hatata. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Vina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. great room of the Knoll model styled mid-century modern. As you can see, there's, <laughs> there's custom <laughs> tenant lighting, a primo fireplace, and all this gorgeous furniture. Beautiful. I really love the bubbles. It's like <laughs> I pop them. So everything that you see in the model homes, they are a unique piece of art. Basically, you can't get this when you build from the ground up. They hire a special interior designer and they put all these custom pieces in it, such as this wood trim right here on the walls and even the tiling on the back. Living here it makes me feel like I'm in a lounge instead of my own home. Ben will love that because he doesn't like staying at home. I'm gonna need my outdoor area. It looks like the outside and inside is very connected. But what's one more? This is still part of the great room. A lot of big open space here. Let's see what it will feel like. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like I'm in a lobby. You know what's cool is that they have the high ceilings, but they also have energy efficiency built in. So oh. it kind of gets the best of both worlds there too. We are in the desert and it does get hot during the summers. You know, one of the first things that buyers ask us is, what's the energy bill, right? So it is a big deal. I also really like how they put the high ceilings up here to let in a lot of natural light. So it's also adding to the energy efficiency during the day when you don't have to like turn on the pendant lighting. So this is the dining area and it's very, very highly customized. They have these dark countertops. You know what's really cool about this open kitchen concept is that they really try to make it sleek and a little bit more under the radar type where you have your wolf appliances kind of hidden in. So you really don't see it. Whereas a lot of the luxury properties, you know, you have the big steel appliances which kind of take over the room. In this case, it's the room that kind of takes over. Right, so I it's see. a different feel, it's a different designer concept. Seeing these kind of countertops house makes you want to jump on them. You know, have fun with the cooking, have fun with the playing, dancing around. Dance on top. Yeah, that's what I would do. Even the stove top is like seamless with the countertop right here. Uh, and this fridge is huge. This is like a commercial grade fridge. Sub zero fridges. I know my mom will love this as an Asian parent. They would love a huge fridge. Randy, I heard you're most excited about this part. It's supposed to be a secret. Oh, sorry. But come on in. Yeah, I am excited about it. All right, so these are supposed to be wine bottles and it's hidden under the stairwell. So they're using all the space under here efficiently. Most people do storage under the stairwell. I'd much rather do a wine room. <laughs> but the best part is there's a hidden part back here for uh, the chillers. So you can have all your cooling wine, but it's kind of out the way and then you have your display cases here. It's pretty much like an art display, so like a centerpiece at the home. Pretty much. It is, and that way you have your friends over, you put the display wines that you want them to drink, and then you hide your personal <laughs> section here. <laughs> Just tell them to stand outside and pick from the window. This home is designed as an open concept living space, so you kind of allow your imagination to run wild. Over here, they designed it where it's like a great living room and a sitting area over here next to the kitchen. They turned it into a dining room. I think dining here will be really fun, especially for breakfast. You watch the sunrise or the sunset from here. And it's nice too because these sliders, they open up all the way. And this home like really embraces the feel of like indoor outdoor living. Welcome to the White Rock Home, modeled after Desert Contemporary. So again, we have an open floor plan. This one is a little different just because it's more of a straight on kind of feel. We have a recessed entertainment center, custom fireplace, which overlooks this gourmet kitchen. So in the last home, they turned a corner of the kitchen into a dining area. Over here, we have something more formal, which overlooks the great room right in between the kitchen, which is the perfect space for entertaining. It's like a restaurant in here. Well, <laughs> this area. Yeah. You could eat at a restaurant, invite a lot of friends over. That looks like a cafe over there in that corner. Oh, that would be my favorite corner. <laughs> 
breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Highly unique and customized kitchen, as you can see, connected to the island is a drop-down dining table, perfect for like a little breakfast bar. High-grade stainless steel wolf appliances, been built in into the cabinet, so it's kind of like hidden, but you can still see it. Yeah. Do you like cooking? I'm kind of bad at cooking, <laughs> but I love food. Randy, do you cook? I love to cook. Does this kitchen do it for you? So the kitchen does it for me for sure. These are the traditional steel wolf appliance, which most people gravitate towards. But as you can see, it's really bold. It really takes the show. And again, because I love to cook, I immediately gravitate towards the red handles. <laughs> here's where you make your breakfast, bacon and eggs, wow. pancakes, right? And then here's where you grill lunch. And then Uber Eats for dinner. <laughs> Coming over for dinner next. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Here's where you can keep leftover for days. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a refrigerator. All the water. Because right now at home, we have two fridges. They're all filled up to the brim. Freezers, there's no more space for ice cream. So this would be great. Is this for ice cream? This is for ice cream. A lot of ice cream. A lot. <laughs> you got Hagen Dots, Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> yeah. I think Vegas in the summer, you have to have something like that. I heard this is your favorite spot in the house too. Only if I can order breakfast. Yeah, this looks like a nice little nook in the corner somewhere, like a nice cafe. I think you could sit here, eat your breakfast, or just read a book. Enjoy the view outside. Dip some espresso. Yeah, that'd be really nice. So now these lighters actually open up all the way. So this home really embraces indoor-outdoor living. Whoa, you're not kidding. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. And a gorgeous, gorgeous infinity pool right here. Wow. You can also enjoy our fresco dining because they have a built-in grill over here. And it's the full Coyote appliance package. Oh. Now, fun fact, when you buy a home from Toll Brothers from the ground off, they don't even offer this. So it's really just these exclusive homes that they pull out all the bells and whistles for. I can't get over the indoor-outdoor living. It's so well connected. Yeah. It's like that's pretty much additional square footage for your house. Absolutely. And some people actually like to match the tile from the inside of their home to the outside so it gives it more of a steady flow. Like space, Toll Brothers turned this into a little seating reading room, but this can be used as like a home office or even an entertainment center. This house is so big, I could turn this into like a reception area, <laughs> check-in area, so you kind of see who comes in from here. <laughs> a lot of people build their offices here. If you do have an office where people would actually visit you, they can come into your office ah. without interrupting your private bedroom area. I like that. Now, me personally, because I have a design eye, I would put a little cocktail bar right down here. Because oh. there's so much space right here. And you have all the natural light. Very cool. Does it have a wine finish? I That's bigger than the other space. <laughs> Can you show us upstairs? Yeah. This is called a spine staircase, by the way. It's a really expensive upgrade. I think it's totally worth it because it adds more, like, gives the illusion of more space in the house. Whoa. A perfect place to, like, display your chandelier if you have, like, a true showstopper. Or another reception area to see where they're coming from. <laughs> It's the master, but the wow. design is cool because it's a flow through. It flows through and then you're right back out. So you have Whoa. your laundry from your master, main bedroom, and then you have a pretty good view here. And I love how they didn't put a mirror here, like they just cut it out. That's the view I want from brushing my teeth. Not <laughs> <Not> yourself. <laughs> Not Vina, she wants a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and this bathtub, wow, that's something. Ooh. It works. Look at this wall finish. Oh, this feels so good on the hand. Ooh, there's a little balcony over there too. A lot of good spying spots in this house. And it's equipped with a fireplace in every house. A fireplace and a bedroom, that's a big upgrade. Right, right. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so jealous of this room right now. I'm sure so jealous <laughs> oh, for some reason. Cute. It's a games and it's a wood wall, the yeah. wood panel wall. Wow. It's like a cafe. It's like a cafe bedroom. Yeah, that's why I like it. This is priceless if it's in New York City. Do you guys want to go to Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> it's more and more tempting, but they... Do you guys play any instruments? Like a little bit of piano. Oh yeah, you Asian. can play more. Can you read any of these Somewhat. <laughs> Chalk wallpaper. Oh. So it's another kids. But this one's a lot more cozier. So when you see these kind of closets and bedrooms, they call it custom California cabinetry. 
because this is also a grade. I don't think October this offers it, you have to do it outside. So when you buy a model, you're buying a piece of art. Uh, Ikea will do to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Whoa, this is the prettiest wall ever. Very pretty paneling. It's another bedroom. Oh! <laughs> it's pretty nice to put like a sheet up there, like a canopy, mm. like a mosquito netting kind of sheet. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed these house tours and made good use of your time here. If you know any friends or family interested, just send them our way. You gonna hook us up though? We'll talk about that off camera. Okay, got you. <laughs>